Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like, subscribe. <laughs> I created this look and I wanted to share it. Um, it could be oh, a date night, it could be a, a night out, whatever, going out with friends, family, whoever, whichever, whatever. So let's get started. I'm using those two primers to prime my face. Hard Candy and Maybelline, and I'm using this uh, Makeup Forever HD, sorry about the blurriness. And I'm also blending my foundation with a beauty blender. And my beauty blender is damp, as usual. It's like a sponge, if you use it dry, it's not gonna work. Like uh, when you clean your house with a sponge, you have to wet it before you can use it with products otherwise it doesn't work next i'm applying my concealer which is the rimmel wake me up concealer and i really like this concealer Here we go. so i'm trying to do the um highlighting method that I've learned on YouTube, which is the triangle under the eyes and a little tree um, going down your face. And now I'm blending everything with the pointy side of my beauty blender. So this is the powder I started using for setting my concealer. I've never felt the need to set my concealer until a few months ago when I noticed fine lines under my eyes. I was devastated. So yeah, when I apply makeup now, uh, it settles in my fine lines under my eyes if I don't do it properly. So I have to be careful for that. Next, I'm going to blend everything and set my face with my regular face powder, which in this case is the um, Maybelline Fit Me 355 Coconut. And I had to moisturize my lips with my chapstick. Well, next step, which I forgot to do before applying powder is I'm going to conceal my chin because I have discoloration on my chin and I, I like to uh, correct that. And I'm gonna start with my eyes. So my transition color, uh, I'm using the Lorac Pro Palette, the first one. My transition color is Taupe. And my lid color is, I think it is Pewter. And next is to deepen my crease. My crease color is Sable. I'm taking this pencil brush to apply the outer V, outer corner color, which I'm applying espresso right now with this brush. And I'm only showing you one eye because I didn't want to take forever on this video. And of course I have to blend my V, so I'm blending it into the crease. And I know the success of an eye look is blending, blending, blending. So this is what I'm trying to do. And I'm reapplying uh, my lid color pewter just because I felt like it, it kind of was erased by all the other colors I added. So I just want to put it back on where it became a little too erased. And this is the liner I'm going to be using. And I have a hard time with eyeliner, so I had to get really close to my mirror. This is why I said goodbye, because I thought I would be out of frame, but it turns out that I'm not completely out of frame. So I'm taking my time because it's not the easiest thing for me to do. Trying to create a little flick. That's the hard part for me. And making it look good. So this is one eye, and this is with the second eye. Uh, they're a little different, but that's okay. Next, I'm using uh, this NYC bronzer. I'm gonna bronze my face a little bit. So I'm gonna put it all over like the perimeters mostly. 
and in the hollows of my cheek where I would usually I would uh, contour but I'm not really contouring today so I'm just using that to add a little bit of dimension so that, this is what I'm doing I love bronzing my face contouring for now is not my thing and now I'm adding blush with this blush brush and the brush that I've been using is from BH Cosmetics so a little smile the apples at my cheeks are out and I'm just gonna add a little blush to them usually if I don't do the bronzer contouring I will do a contouring with my blush and next is um, my highlight I'm going to highlight the high points of my cheeks with this wet and wild eyeshadow which is kind of shimmery and I think it's perfect to highlight and I'm gonna apply it a little bit on the tip of my nose a little bit on the forehead a little bit on the chin and the cupid's bow area And I'm gonna blend that with one of my brushes. I realized that I need to add um, highlighting brushes and contouring brushes to my kit because when I first started in makeup, that was not a trend. So I never really needed to do that, but now it's all the rage. All right, now it's time for eyebrows I'm using an essence um, eyebrow pencil I like it because it's it's small and it has a little brush on the little um, lid so I don't need to um, travel with a with a brush and a spoolie if I'm doing my makeup in the car most of the time this is where that's where I do my makeup but today I had time to do my makeup in the house before leaving and I even took the time to film it I'm not a fan of the super defined eyebrows I prefer the very subtle eyebrows so this is why that's the only thing I'm doing lightly defining my brows because I know that when you take pictures and you didn't do anything to your brows they just disappear so I add a little bit of uh, eyebrow pencil to kind of draw them on a little bit so that they, they show up in pictures mostly and I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer under my brow and make it become my brow highlight but watching this I realized that it's not showing up really so next time I'll probably not do it like that probably just use a regular shimmery eyeshadow or light eyeshadow to highlight that um, area or maybe add the eyeshadow on top of the um, concealer maybe that'll work Yeah, it's not really showing up, but it's okay. Next is mascara. I'm using this little baby Benefit Their Real Mascara. I have a sample size because I wanted to try it, and I think it's it's good. I like it, but I think they're like 30 something dollars, and for me, that's a little too much for mascara. Even though I really like this mascara, I know that at the drugstore I can find uh, something similar that is still gonna work for me. Um, I don't, I don't feel the need to spend that much money on a mascara. Show me all the 
so now I'm applying sable I think that's sable on the lower lash line just smoking out my lower lid and I am going to be using another brush to do my highlight in the corner of my eye, the tear duct area I really like doing this when I'm doing a more dramatic eye because most of the time I just do either eyeliner and mascara or I just do like a crease in a very light or a very uh, neutral lid color but if I'm doing a more dramatic eye I like to do the highlight in the inner corner I feel like it just adds a lot of drama to the eye it just, I don't know, brings it all together it just looks so good I just really like doing that I'm just finishing up now I added mascara to my lower uh, lashes and uh, I'm going to be adding lipstick now and this is my current obsession I think I've already worn it on another video but I love this Revlon lipstick and I decided to wear it um, not too bold no lip liner so this is just Revlon pink in the afternoon a very pinky I thought it was cute bubbly nice and this is the final look I thank you again very much for watching I really appreciate all my new subscribers thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe also I wanted to invite you guys to always comment under my videos I see that my makeup videos are fun to edit uh, I love my hair journey but I don't really have a lot to say about it because I don't do much with my hair so this is it thank you very much and see you next time bye